Hello everybody, this is Tyna and Garrett. Hello. And we're here from Brazilian International. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've already seen a lot of our videos, the, the San Juan video, uh, also the video about the interviews, and also our tips, or our English tips on the Instagram account. If you haven't, then please go along and have a look. And today we have another video for you, so let's get started. Roll the intro. Okay, as most of you might already know, then uh, I am English and Tyna is American and we both use English, uh, but there are differences in the way that we use English on occasions and that's what we're going to have a look at today. Okay, so we're going to play a little game here. And since we both speak English, we should know all the words. But I'm going to say a word and I want to know if Gareth knows what it means. My first word for you, Gareth, is do you know what the word bangs means? Bangs? Bangs. Bangs sounds like something to do with fireworks. Is it a, is it a noise that is made? No, Gareth, it's not. Bangs. Okay. Bangs is when you cut your hair and you have like this short hair across the line here. What is that in, in your British English? Okay, so that's fringe then. Fringe? Fringe. I thought fringe was that thing that hangs off of your jacket <laughs> when you, cowboy jackets, they it have fringe, yes, yeah? As well, yeah? Okay, well we call it bangs and British English, we, when I say American English, we say bangs and in British English? It's fringe. Okay, Gary. So, in British English, we describe this item as a rubber. Rubber is material. It's, it's a material used to make different things. Uh, it's also a uh, nickname for a condom, uh, rubber. Uh, what, what is rubber in British English? Well, this is something that you use in conjunction with a pencil. When you make a mistake writing in pencil, you would use this. So, what do you think it is? That's an eraser, Gary. That's not a rubber. Guys, if you go to America, don't ask a person to borrow their rubber, okay? <laughs> uh, ask if you can borrow their eraser. Eraser. Let's go on to our next word. Let me see if Garrett can guess what this is. Sweater is something that we wear in the winter. And I know in British English there's a different name for it uh, that is very strange to me. How do we say sweater in British English? Uh, I think, is this, is this like a rather large man that runs around a lot? No, a no, it's not a sweater, no, 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 really? it's something we wear in the winter. Oh, okay, right, so, um, do we wear it on top of the shirt? Yes, we wear it on top of the shirt to keep warm. Okay, then I guess it must be jumper. Jumper, what does a jumper have to do with a sweater? A jumper, I, we have jumpsuits. But a jumper? Now, you made fun of my sweater saying it was a sweaty man, but I think jumper is much worse, okay, Garrett? Yeah, I don't know where jumper comes from. <laughs> okay, then, uh, uh, here's one for you then, Tyler. Um, uh, in, in British English, we call these sweets. Sweets? There are lots of sweets. Uh, sweets is an, ad sweet is an adjective. Something can be sweet if it has sugar, but you're these, saying... These, these have a lot of sugar in them, yes. Yeah, but you're using it as a noun. What, mm. what are sweets? Uh, they're usually quite hard and, and you like to suck on them, maybe. <laughs> okay, well we would say that that is candy in American English, not sweets, yes, okay? That, that's right, sweets are candy, correct. Right. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Gareth, I have another word for you. What is a blinker? What is a blinker? Again, it must be some man that blinks his eyes rather quickly. Is he a blinker? No, <laughs> it's not a man that blinks his eyes. It's not. No. It's something in your car that you must use when you're going to turn left or you're going to turn right. You turn on your blinker first. Okay, so then that's got to be an indicator. An indicator, okay. Well, the British. 
Okay. So Any in, in this case, we have one that describes the action, which is the blinker. An indicator also describes the action as well. But an indicator is a very general term. But yeah. it indicates where you're going. Yeah, I guess. I'll, I'll give that to you, okay? okay. Uh, Garrett, what is an eggplant? An eggplant? I don't know. I know. As far as I understand, eggs come from like chickens or hens. Uh, so I don't know. What is an eggplant? What, what is the translation? Well, eggplant actually has nothing to do with eggs. Mm -hmm. All right, it is a plant, it's a vegetable, mm -hmm. and it has this really interesting purple color, real deep purple color, and it's white inside, and it's delicious. Some people substitute it for lasagna. Instead of using the pasta, they put eggplant okay. to make a lasagna. So how do you say eggplant in, in England? Okay, I think it's actually a French word, and it's aubergine. Oh, all Yes. I've heard that used for the color, mm -hmm. right? So the color and the vegetable have the same name. Yes, that's right. Okay, how do you pronounce it again? Aubergine. Aubergine. Okay, very good. Um, I have another one for you here then. Uh, let's, let's look at... Um, okay, there, there is two situations in which this is used, but the, the word here is uh, lift. Yeah, can you give me a lift to the supermarket? I need to buy some groceries. Yeah, that's one way of using it, but I'm thinking about it in a different sense. In a different sense. There's a forklift, which is a kind of tractor that raises things and puts them on shelves, very heavy boxes. Forklift, is well, that it? Well, this thing, it's not a forklift, but it is something that lifts things up. Yes, exactly. That describes what it does, but it... it, it it lifts humans up, it lifts them up, woods or takes them down between floors. Do you mean elevator? Yeah. Yes, that's right, an elevator. Oh my goodness. Oh, the British are so complicated, yeah? <laughs> Okay, so lift, it's a lift. So guys, beware when you're in England, when you're in a building and you need to go up, ask where the lift is, not the elevator. Now Garrett, you are an athlete, right? And you, if I'm not mistaken, you're an excellent soccer player. Okay. So I'm sure you have a pair of soccer cleats. Okay, well first of all, it should be football. Oh, come on, come on, soccer, football is American football with all the padding and the, and the tackling and all the excitement. Soccer is different, it's laid back. Okay, well, it's, for us it's football, but okay. yeah. Now cleats, cleats sounds a bit strange. What would you use cleats for? I, I, cleats I are quite dangerous, mm -hmm. but they're necessary if you're a football player. Uh, because they help you run on the grass. Okay. They're tennis shoes or they're sneakers that have little, it can be made out of iron or plat or rubber underneath, mm -hmm. and they help grasp the grass when you run. And we call them soccer cleats. Okay. What would you call them in British English? Well, then they would have to be football boots. Football boots? Uh -huh. But they're not boots, Garrett. Well, they used to be, but like in the 1940s and the 1950s and even before that the, the things that people used to wear on their feet were boots and they even had steel toe caps as well oh okay so, so they could kick somebody like basically yeah. <laughs> okay so lesson learned yeah i learned a little bit about english history how many of these words did you know i'm sure you knew probably had a good idea from some of them but why don't you comment on some other words that you might know that are different in British English and American English. We would love to hear from you. Why don't you also like this video and also subscribe as well to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned to our next videos. Bye. Bye.